Kate Hudson opened up about why she did not initially pursue a career in music during a Tuesday appearance on the podcast Table for Two with Bruce Botsy. The 43-year-old actress, who is currently working on her debut album, shared that her strained relationship with her biological father, singer Bill Hudson, led her to reject making music for many years. Earlier on in my career, I thought I would definitely do music, but then Almost Famous happened, Hudson said, referring to her Oscar-nominated breakthrough role as groupie Penny Lane in Cameron Crowe's 2000 film. She continued, but later on I kind of rejected it because I was like, you know what? As you do when you're dealing with daddy issues. I don't want to connect to that part because that's my dad. That's all dad. Kate Hudson revealed that daddy issues with her father Bill Hudson kept her from pursuing a career in music. Kate Hudson revealed that daddy issues with her father Bill Hudson kept her from pursuing a career in music. Getty. Kate Hudson says ex-husband Chris Robinson taught her how IT felt to be unconditionally loved. If I put that out in the world and people didn't like it, it would destroy me. If that one connection that I had to him, I failed miserably at it would be devastating to me. I wasn't ready for that, the How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days star admitted. Bill was a member of the Hudson Brothers, a musical group that he formed with his brothers Brett and Mark Hudson, in 1965. The Hudson Brothers rose to fame as teen idols in the 1970s and released several hit songs including So You Are a Star, Coochie Coochie Coo, Help Wanted, Rendezvous and Lonely School Year. The group toured with David Cassidy and the Osmonds and starred on their own half-hour comedy sketch series, The Hudson Brothers' Razzle Dazzle Show, which aired on CBS from 1974 to 1975. In 1976, Bill, now 73, married actress Goldie Hawn, now 77, after a year of dating, and the two welcomed son Oliver that same year. The Overboard star gave birth to Hudson in 1979. However, the pair went on to divorce in 1980. Hudson and Oliver were raised by Han and her longtime partner Kurt Russell. The siblings were estranged from Bill for many years, and both have frequently said that they consider Russell, 71, to be their father. Bill Hudson and Goldie Hawn were married from 1976 to 1980. Bill Hudson and Goldie Hawn were married from 1976 to 1980. Richard E. Aaron slash Red Ferns. During her appearance on Table for Two, Hudson explained that her perspective on making music changed as she grew older and eventually reconciled with Bill. I was raised by this incredible father, she said, referring to Russell. Hudson continued, and I love my real father too. I've been able to heal that. The Glass Onion a Knives Out mystery star first revealed her plans to release an album during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon last December. I've been making a record for like a year, Hudson said on the show. Every time you're doing interviews, people are like, do you have any regrets? And I'm like, I'm early 40s, not yet. She went on to explain that she has actually been writing music for many years. I've been writing music since I was 19, and I've never shared it, and so I thought that would be one of my great regrets, Hudson said. I have no expectations. I just want to put a record out, and so I'm doing it, and I'm really excited. The Fool's Gold actress shared that the album would be coming out next year. Kate Hudson's debut album will be released later this year. Kate Hudson's debut album will be released later this year. Photo by Jeff Spicer slash BAFTA slash Getty Images for BAFTA. Hudson shared a few details about her upcoming album during her appearance on Table for Two. I'm really excited because I just realized that I just have to do it, she said. No expectations about what it needs to be. It just needed to come out. All of it needed to come out. She told Botsy that she was working on the album with her fiancé Danny Fujikawa and singer-songwriter Linda Perry. Hudson recalled that they wrote 26 songs in two months. It was so prolific, she said. We're like 70, I would say 70% there, she said. I mean, pretty soon we're going to be like 90% there. Hudson said that the album doesn't have a title yet, 
and she still has to choose the 10 to 12 songs that will be featured on it. It was like a memoir for me, she said. This, to me, was like writing a book, you know? It's like my version. And it's so personal. I've never done anything like this that's fully me putting it out there. I was so terrified of doing that. During COVID, I was like, if I don't do that, it will be the only regret. So I'm going to just do it. I'm so excited because the music's turned out really wonderful. I can't wait for people to hear it.